I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using it. Using me to search for something call it the apple. It's an artifact, one of many so-called pieces of Eden. The Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. Maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. But she's gone now. She was taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what'll happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here. And I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they- Now. Get in. Well, what's with the blood? Are you okay? Look. We have maybe ten minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then... Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions. Later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. All right.
a boy. Oh, my love. Mi dispiace. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Get up. Let's go. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Oh, really getting out of here, huh? Stergo's got some fucked up interior decorators. Stay close. Hey! You're not supposed to be up here! Open this door! I'm calling it in. We have a breach in the research wing. I repeat, there's been a breach in the research wing. That's why. Over here. Nancy. There they are! Don't let them get away! <laughs> Holy shit! Cameras. I rigged them to leave old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. Is that an animus? Hold on. Many of them are there. Wait. Is it animuses or animi? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy, what do they need with all of them? Desert. Fuck. I thought this card would work. Must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Shit. Come on. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. It's always something. What was that in the enemy? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where?
get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. Thanks for that. It was great. Shoving the trunk, bouncing around. Love this it. way. So, you gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this. And even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Lucy! You made it. God, it's been so long. Seven years. Can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Lovely so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. Sorry, can't talk now. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And that I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just... I wasn't ready. It's okay. No. Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist. What they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. Lucy, I've been seeing things. Symbols in my bedroom. The code on the keypad. Just like Altair. It's from the bleeding effect. You're taking on more than your ancestors' memories. You're taking on their skills, too. In this case, eagle vision. Skills? You're more receptive now. So if all goes well, everything Ezio learns in the Animus, you'll learn too. 
You really think this will work? That I'll become an assassin? You already are an assassin. You'll just be better at it. Yeah, hopefully much better at it. I mean, seriously, I saw the tapes from upstairs go. You didn't even try and escape. What a dick. Sorry, Desmond. I've got some stuff to take care of. We can talk more later. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. Hello, Desmond. Go away. So how does this work? Of course. Deep breath. Ah! Oh, what are you, a tiny child? Sean! Well... Here we go. Insieme per la vittoria! Insieme! Insieme! Insieme. Ah. Silenzio, my friends! Silenzio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor. Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries Enough. upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! Just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. It's oh, your family that cries for guards when there's trouble. Godard. Afraid to handle things yourself. Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. Put it that alone! style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you.
this? Your lip. Just a scratch. Let the doctor decide. It's not necessary. Besides, I have no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> Wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd hardly call it wasting. Give me some floorings then. Or have you done the same? <laughs> Search them. There's bound to be something in the pockets. Abeli, that should be enough. Let's get out of here before the guards arrive. Hurry, Ezio. The sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. Provato, mm, fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? You've made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing, really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. Fuck the day. <laughs> there we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. This way. Quite a night. Indeed. I only wish they were all as much fun. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home, Ezio. Father should be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? To where? Uh, roof of that church. On the count of three. Uno, due, tre. <clears throat> Baby brother still has much to learn. <laughs> I almost feel bad about this. Ah, oh, no shame in failure, brother. <laughs> Come on, then. This way. Where are you going? You'll see. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. May it never change. And may it never change us. All right. Enough of that. 
You really should head home. Let's go. Wait. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. There will be time enough for that later. Ah. So it's Vieri. Better hide. Keep looking! He couldn't have gotten far! Christina! Who's there? Me! Oh, it's you! I should have known! May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait. Uh, that came out wrong. Come here. Oh, oh wait. Oh, it's you. Christina! Christina! Elia! Your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio di cane! What is this? Perdonate, messere! Chiedo venia! I'll kill you! No, no, no. That's not necessary. Guard! Guard! Voglio you la sua testa! There's really no need for violence. You have me confused with someone else. She needed some help. Good morning, Father. Come with me. Something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Gary Di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo di Medici to review. I need them delivered to you. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done.
Questi Peppers di arte dei maestri di pietra ah, e legname su Split Applications to the Gonfaloniere. Ah, Ezio, ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid, and not expect it back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. Keep up the good work. Bischero. <laughs> you worry too much. Ah. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uberto? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. We could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at him? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Here we are. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto honorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's a very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. 
I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house, then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? So, Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, Mark, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo, I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anch'io. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. It's beautiful. Nothing but the best for you, Amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditorium. Oh, Virbante. Come, let us walk a bit. Walk? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. Lurido Porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah! Ma che ti piglia! You insult my sister. Parading around with this puttana. Well, what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her. Heard the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtue. You broke her heart. Ha! Ah, and now I'm going to break your face. You auditore is all talk me. But when it comes time for action, ha! You regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister. She's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! What 
yourself, friend. What exactly brought it about? We just saw our mayo! out here, Petruccio. You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, can you go back inside? Yes, I promise. I'll send you to your grave. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. 